Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. So in today's video, I'm going to do a quick rundown of my personal opinion on what you guys should be doing day one or within the first couple hours of College Football 25 Ultimate Team being live. So number one, open up your MVP bundle. Open up your pre-orders. You now spend wisely your 4,600 points that you guys could use to open up packs or bundles. You guys could add more points to open up a bundle, I should say. Which, by the way, I did do a bundle opening of a junior and sophomore bundle, so go check it out. But number one, open up your pre-orders. If you guys are going to spend money into the game, spend the money. And this is my final result. I'm not going to go all out, but off of two bundles, this is what my top five players are in my overall. Not bad. Second thing you guys want to do, in my personal opinion, is grind out these challenges. Now, the challenges in general is a good way to build up your team for free. Just make sure when you guys are completing these objections so you guys are getting the max amount of stars it's so early on in the year that every single objection and challenge is one star but at the end of the day let me show you guys real quick the milestones you guys can see right here you guys get packs and you guys get coins now before we jump to the next you know milestone the tier one is a bnd if you guys don't know or if you guys are new the ultimate team in general bnd basically means you guys cannot sell them on the auction market now you guys could quick sell them but i don't suggest to do that i'm jumping over to milestone number two for ultimate team 201 same thing the max amount of tiers which is tier seven which is 36 stars me moving my big head you guys get a 79 overall player the overall grind out the challenges you guys get coins you guys get free players not bad at all now this is new to ultimate team it hasn't been in madden who knows if this year if that's going to change but you guys can see right above you guys have offensive scheme trials and defensive scheme trials now overall these challenges you guys are going to be trying out different formation different plays on offense and defense but most importantly the best thing about these milestones once again free players free coins but the highest tier which is tier seven right next to me you guys get a bnd 80 overall player which is basically an elite player in this game now in this game, you know, in Madden there is uh, a elite, which is like a red flash before you guys get the player. And this year, you know, the highest overall, besides an orange, is going to be a blue one, which is like an 80 overall-ish, 80 through 85 overall, you know, player. But at the end of the day, you guys know what I mean. Complete the milestones, same thing. You guys have another opportunity at the offensive scheme trials to get a BND 80 overall player. So, pack. If you guys are going to spend money, spend your money. Do the challenges. Next, you guys have to do the field pass. Now, house rules is going to be worth it. Now, so far, hopefully they don't make any changes just because EA does make changes to their game frequently. But you guys want to play house rules because look at these rewards. I mean, let's jump from the, the farthest level, the highest level, I should say, which is, man, how many levels are there in this? So, yeah, okay, this is going to take a while. But for the field pass, you guys see right here, a little 50, you guys get an A7 overall left outside linebacker. You guys get a season one token, which is, I believe, a boost in the XP for the next season. But you guys basically want to grind out these levels. Now, what do you guys get in the levels? You guys get players, BND players, you guys get coins, and then you guys also get some BND packs. I wish it wasn't BND, but it is what it is. At the end of the day, if you guys are trying to build up your squad, if you guys are no money spent, or let's say you guys are money spent, you guys want to get these free players and the free coins. I mean, not, you can you can never say no to free things in Ultimate Team. The only thing that's going to cost you is time and sweat and rage. So, you guys want to do that. So, I, once again, review. Spend your money. Open up your packs. Get your pre-orders. Do that number one. Number two, your challenges. Number three, start working on your field pass. Play some house rules. You guys want to level up in that. Then, you know, some bonus stuff is complete your daily objections. They're not that hard. Play a game, which you guys can see right here. You guys can play head-to-head, -head, solo battles, or a solo, seals, a solo season. You guys can acquire a pack from the marketplace. And, I mean, the last one is pretty simple. Gain 250 yards. Season one objections, I mean, once again, easy things right things that you guys can grind out in challenges if you guys really want to and so and in solo battles just make sure if you guys want the easiest way possible to complete these just put the level at the lowest level which is like what it's probably gonna be like a freshman level in this game or the easiest level where you guys can go against the computer 
complete these objections really really fast and even play some challenges but then the day that is what i would do immediately right when you guys jump into ultimate team spend your money go play some challenges and then start grinding out your house rule field pass and just in general your field pass and your daily objections um yeah not bad man i mean look i did open up a bundle like i said and hey i got some good things out of it uh so good luck to everybody that's be watching this video if you guys are gaining packs from either the field pass or you guys are opening up packs through the store or even a bundle good luck to you guys and that's what i'll be working on for the rest of today i'm gonna try to avoid playing online i'm really gonna be trying to just complete the objections complete the field pass the easiest stuff but then later you know play some late games online because at the end of the day i care about most thing the most important thing i care about is winning online games i'm in it for the comp I'm not saying i'm really good but i'm trying to win some games and improve every single year so that's what i suggest to do let me know your thoughts down below if you guys agree or disagree and yeah make sure you guys like subscribe for notifications see you guys on the next one